Yes! Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you the major Photoshop interface elements. You can open any image you want. The first interface element to get familiar with is the document window, which is right here in the center of the screen. This is where you work on your images. Over to the right of the document window are the panels that have a variety of image editing controls. There are more panels than just those you see in this panel column. Some of the panels are hidden behind others. For example, here we have a panel group of the color panel and the swatches panel. If you want to see the swatches panel, you can just click its tab and that brings it forward so you can use it. You can go ahead and select a red swatch here in the swatches panel and that color will be applied when you use other color features like the brush tool. There are some panels that aren't open on the face of Photoshop. To open one of those panels, go up to the window menu and choose from this list of alphabetical panels that do not have a check mark. For example, you can choose the histogram panel and that opens the histogram panel. Currently, the histogram is showing all color channels separately, which is great for critical color review. You can close it by the double pointed arrow here. Another important interface element is the tools panel, which is located to the left of the document window. It's this long vertical bar here. If you're not sure what a tool is, you can just hover over its icon. And in a moment, you'll see the name of the tool and a brief tool tip. To select a tool, just click it. There are more tools than you see on the face of the tools panel. You can click the disclosure triangle and hold any tool like the horizontal type tool here that has a little triangle at the bottom right corner and you can see a flyout menu of related tools. So if you want to add text but not in a horizontal orientation but rather in a vertical orientation, you can just slide down to the vertical type tool in this flyout menu, select it from there. Now each tool has a number of controls called options and those are found in the next major interface element, the horizontal tool options bar up here across the top of the screen. The important thing about the options bar is that it changes depending on what tool is selected. So because you have the vertical type tool selected, you see options for text like this font size menu here. Keep your eye on the options bar while I select another tool. You can click on the brush tool for example and now the options have changed to offer brush opacity and blend modes. The two most important things you'll use aside from the brush size adjustments. Now let's go ahead and apply an option. One of the things you can often want to do when you have the brush tool selected is to change the size of the brush tip. And you can do that by using the brush picker option. You can click that option to open the brush picker. And then you can move the size slider in the brush picker over to the right to increase the size of the brush tip or to the left to decrease it. And then you can click in a blank area to close the brush picker. Now you can move into the image and you can apply some paint. If you change your mind about that paint stroke or whatever you just did in Photoshop, you can undo it by pressing the common keyboard shortcut for undo, which is Command plus Z on a Mac or Control plus Z on a PC. The last major interface element is the menu bar at the very top of the screen. And here you have multiple menus with lots of controls. For example, if you want to close this image, you can select close from the file menu and you can go ahead and close the image without saving since we haven't made any permanent changes. So that was a super quick look at the major features of the Photoshop interface. Now you'll use these over and over and the things we covered were the Photoshop document window, the panels on the right side, the toolbar on the left side, the tool options that run across the top, and then the menu bar that runs on the very top. Yes! Hey! What are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.